<laughs> um, so those of you who may follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all of those things, I don't know why I'm rolling my foot as I say this. I did a wonderful charity run um, last week and I had a great time and I, um, basically we ran through um, lots of mud and obstacle courses and everything like that and it was great. It was a wonderful day, great laugh, got covered in mud, um, freezing cold but great fun. Finished the run and um, I thought, oh you know, we went out for some food afterwards and then I went to get into bed on the night time and I couldn't put my foot on the floor. And I thought, uh oh, I've got a tour starting in a week's time. I woke up the next day, um, cut a long story short, I basically thought I'd broke my foot. And um, I went to the hospital to get an x-ray and I went to A&E and um, <laughs> I, 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 I've obviously done this for a long time now, you know, and I, it, it does, you never get used to people recognising you, first of all, I will say that. You never ever get used to that and sometimes it catches you off guard and you think, oh that's really strange, like somebody's just recognised this. Some, sometimes if you're in a random place. So I walked into the hospital, um, I couldn't get a shower because I couldn't walk. I was kind of half dressed, I had some awful tracksuit bottoms on, my hair was all over the place. I had a jacket like covering up a horrific outfit. <laughs> and I walked into a and &E, um, and you know, just, just, as, just as you can't feel any more stupid than you already do, I'm literally walking in like this. And a woman at the top of her voice, Oh my God, it's Joe McKelvey. <laughs> I wanted the ground to literally swallow us up. So anyways, the wonderful NHS, we have a wonderful, I have to say, we have a wonderful NHS. You know, I'm, I'm being very dramatic, it wasn't even anything serious, but you know, what they did, they, they seen us, they were really quick and they were really helpful, and they were also really helpful at the fact that people were kind of gawking at us in the middle of the x-ray room, and kind of took us to one side and gave us a private room, which was very nice. Um, <laughs> and, um, this, so I'm, I get the x-ray and then I'm walking through and then another lady at the top of our, and it was full, the x-ray room, it was packed. So another woman, oh my God, it's Joe McKeldry. And just as I'm walking through, she goes, hey. She says to, I think it was, there was a paramedic standing next to her, hey, he's got a concert next week, you better be all right for that. And I thought, where's the sympathy, where's the sympathy? But I know you're all very panic stricken right now at my terrible story and just so you know I'm absolutely fine. Um, it was a stress fracture and it's fine now actually. I've been dancing on it all weekend and it's absolutely fine. But I will use this opportunity to uh, sit down and sing as if I'm in Westlife. They have just actually got back together haven't they? Um, this next song I want to sing for you is one of my favourite songs by one of, well two of my favourite artists actually. Um, and it's, um, it was originally sung by Dionne Warwick, mm -hmm. uh, who I actually got the privilege to sing with a few years back at the Royal Albert Hall, which was a wonderful experience. And then also one of my absolute musical idols, um, Luther Van Dross. Yeah. And um, it's one of my favourite songs. So with the show and I, we're doing a lot of different material and some, some songs that have just inspired me over the years. This is one of them. Um, it's called A House Is Not A Home. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. A chair is still a chair Even when there's no one Darling, never 
Amigo. 